All right, so they are already starting already. I can see the, the next block. There's a guy standing in front of the building across the street. He sees me coming down. He gets up, turn, stand in the middle of the sidewalk, walking towards the uh, corner. All right, so like I said, we're going to expose them. But anyway, um, I want to talk about something, which I want to. I'm going to walk over to the corner so you guys can uh, see him. He got his mask down. So, all right. So, you know, I was watching Ray Higgins, and he was talking about bloodlines. And the church conspiracy. Right? And I talked about this because during my targeting, you know, they would send me some of message about certain things because they think that nobody's gonna believe me. Right? Oh look, he turns. Look. Yeah, so yeah, so there you go, there you go. See me uh standing right in the middle there, you see me coming, he comes over here to the corner. All right, so when you look at uh, those who have fight for our rights as black people, and if you look at their children, okay, and how their children have been stifled in terms of any political activism, okay, and you guys have to take my word for it, you guys can go look it up, right? How they have been stifled okay meaning that they have not taken any type of political stance for black people as their father did or mother did right and that's because they have been neutralized I would say their bloodline have been neutralized this is the reason why uh, Martin Luther King's mother was killed okay this is the this is why his children have not really taken the forefront of civil rights activism like their father did this is why Malcolm X grandson was killed okay in his young years as soon as he made that decision to follow in his grandfather's footsteps, who did they use? Someone close to him. So we as black people, we can't be foolish that when we're raising our children and we see the potential within them to be in politics or to be a civil rights uh, activist, an activist and, and engage in activism, you guys start telling our children the truth. Hey. Be careful of your friends. If you're gonna go anywhere, don't just go with one person. You know, take at least three or four people with you. Okay? We have to do this. When you look at these young civil rights activists from uh, Ferguson, Missouri, and how they were killed within a couple of years of, you know, I think that these five of them, including one woman, a um, young black woman, you got to understand the type of uphill battle we are facing and how those of us who uh, stand up for truth, justice, righteousness, and want to see the advancement of our people, black people, you know, and our advancement doesn't mean that other people can't advance also. Again, if you look at our history, we're not like that as a people, right? But we have to be aware that there are people out there who, who will do everything in their power to prevent us from gaining any sort of economic uh, independence so that we can do for ourselves. And they don't want that so they can turn, so they don't want that because they can always demonize us and say, look, these black people, they're not doing nothing, right? <laughs> when we know what's going on, 
we know behind the scenes those working in the shadows have been uh, engaging in every effort to destabilize our community to destabilize our mental state to destabilize the family and destroy the family so we know this right and like I said one of the biggest tools they use is religion that's one of the biggest tool they use is religion religion rumors technology that they think people don't uh, know about that is hidden it's in the shadows but nope yeah I'm gonna continue to talk as much as I want and I'm gonna to expose as much as I want see look at her hand behind the back the head yeah <laughs> right because again in an attempt to shut me up again it's not gonna work right it is not gonna work and so they know this so yeah like I said I'm gonna continue to expose them I'm not gonna stop no sir so as I was saying so Dr. Ray Higgins was talking about this you know and it's the reason why they want to start collecting the DNA of young black men and women who they arrest, right? Because they're looking for something. They're looking for someone. They're looking for people. They're looking for our ancestors that lies within our DNA, in our blood. Okay? See, they got you in church believing that resurrection means that uh, you you know you were you you were born into another body. But that's not what it is. See, our African ancestors know that in order for them to have eternal life, it's passed down through the bloodline. They know this. Okay? So religion got you believing something else, but while their true agenda is to stop whoever, whoever bloodline that they feel threatened by. That's where they go into your history. They know everything about you, your past, each and every family member down to your third, fourth, fifth cousins. Okay? And this is how you, as a white supremacist, snuff out any sort of future Christ. And when I say Christ, I'm not talking about the religious Christ that you see in the, in the Christian, or you hear in the Christian Bible. Okay? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking the fact that those of us who are brave enough to, despite all the challenges, love black people so much that they want to see black people do together as a whole, not just as individual, as a whole. See, they got you believing in individualism, right? They got you believing in individualism because they know that that is how they are, right? But understand this, even though they practice individualism, they also practice collectivism, meaning that as a whole, as a group of people, doesn't matter if they're Asian, European, right? Collectively, they all believe in white supremacy. And white supremacy entails holding who? Oppressing who? Right? Demonizing who? Abusing who? Raping who? Torturing who? Creating programs to disadvantage to drug who there's a white guy again never fails right <laughs> never fails right so yeah so uh you know i i read somewhere it says that you know what uh there are those of us who will make the ultimate sacrifice of losing everything to carry on the work that so many others have done right and so what you're looking at is modern day lynching of white supremacists. Because I'm better than you. I look better than you. By white supremacists, I should say, by white supremacists of those who they consider to be a threat. And they will use anything. And one of the most important things what Ray Higgins was talking about, and you guys can look at the video, it's called uh, the Bloodline Conspiracy. And he talks about how they use women. So this is nothing new in their playbook. You see, we have been conditioned into having short-sightedness and a short memory. Okay? 
That's what we have been conditioned to. And yeah, all this, you know, subliminal shit, this and that. Hey, sometimes you have to, Bob Marley, what Bob Marley said? Sometimes you have to give up the material things and the, and, and, and the, uh, the, the fake people, you know, so they got to stand by yourself and stand alone. You know what I'm saying? To be the shining light in the sea of, the, in the sea of zombies, sheep, brainwash, Negropians. <clears throat> right? Because it's the only way you got to do things. Because they will try to bring you down. They have been conditioned. Inside their mind lives a white supremacist that they don't even understand is there. As African people, African people of descent, you know, we have a double per we have a double personality. Right? We have a double personality. Because we don't ask questions, we just follow orders. You know, okay? And they will use their send our own. So we have to learn how to recognize those of us who have been conditioned to turn against those that white supremacists fear. Okay? So we gotta um understand and think about that all right and like i said at, but at bernie max said i ain't scared of none of you motherfuckers none so yeah so you, you're looking at the just the um the conrad bakery right <laughs> that's what they're looking at so you know i guess i guess they, they're like oh well he's he gonna be a con well hey every person that stand up for black people rights guess what i've been in prison i've gone to jail so it'll be no different. But like I said, Bird Mark, what Bernie Mac says, I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. Come on. <laughs> you know. So yeah. I understand what it is that they're doing. Okay? And it will be them that is going to be holding their head down in shame. Because they will continue to be they, they will continue to be Manipulated and brainwashed And that's fine Because you know what Like I said What's coming on the pipeline Is going to be their children And their children's children Is going to be suffering Okay And so if you look at Our situations about people We You know Things haven't gotten better for us Yeah we live in modern times Okay Now it's not just uh, Slavery and chain and bondage It's mental slavery In Slavery in debt to a system that continue to steal money and keep us poor, right? And what happens when you have people who are hurt, right? They'll turn around and hurt somebody else, and the white supremacists know that. They they know this. They know this, and this is why they continue to trick and deceive. Okay, you know, you can you stand up my way because you don't want me to. Uh, uh, videotape that shirt, so you go stand in the way to try to block it. Right? Again, that's the thing. See her holding her phone now? Right? Because again, she takes her phone in her pocket. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's just to show you how uh, easy people can be manipulated. It's just to show you how uh, they have, they can, just like the, the Nazis and what they did to the German people and conditioning them with uh, what is called the deception of self. It's the same thing that's going on here. It's no different. Okay? It, there is no different. Yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> right? So, yeah, look at these. Uh, oh, oh, they got... They, what, 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 they, they got the Israelites? What, they got the Israelites? Look at another white guy coming out here trying to do the, the palm fixation trick. Right? So look at him. Looking at his phone. He's flashing his phone. Yeah, white supremacist. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, white supremacist. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta laugh at these people. You know what I'm saying? I gotta I gotta laugh at these people because it's it's hilarious. Right? It is it is hilarious. But anyway, your program to try to silence me is not gonna work. Okay? 
your program to try to silence me is not going to work. So you can silence, you can get the brainwashed sheep, the Negroes, the Negro Pians, you know, with your false Christian doctrine, because they don't even know who they are. And you made sure that you've done a job to make sure that they don't know who they are. But I know who I am. Right? And that's the one thing you're not going to do. It's silence me. Okay? All right. So, anyway, let's move on. Uh, so, Ray Higgins talked about the bloodline and how the church, the Catholic Roman, the Roman Catholic Church, in its effort to stifle out our ancestors' return, that they have engaged in all sorts of methods and tactics in order to prevent that. See, white people understand comedic spirituality, which is actually comedic science, right? See, they got you thinking it's some man named Jesus who's coming to save your soul. No, it is you. It is the ancestors that within you that at some point in your life will awaken you. Okay? And this is what they try to prevent. Right? Our ancestors within, our, within us from awakening our conscious mind to understand and know who we are and to do what we need to do for ourselves and for our people. But they don't want that because they want to control black people. They have never given up the idea of controlling black people. Okay? And they have done a very effective way of doing it. Right? So what are we going to do as black people? Are we going to follow along with the tricks, the manipulation? Or are we going to un go back to our way? Which is science, math, philosophy, architecture, right? You need to put down that Bible and, and, and take up those type of studies. That's what you need. That's what your children need. That's what we need. Okay? That, that is what we need. Right? But your children be in the same condition, or even worse, actually worse, than what you are not you are in now. Because when you look at the statistics, you look at the reality, things are not going upward for us. It is going the opposite way. So when are we gonna wake up and realize what's going on? Right? When are we gonna wake up and realize what's going on? No, no, here, here come the interracial couple now. Yeah, they got a parade. Listen. Uh, look, he's sticking his hand up his nose. You see? Like I told you guys, this is what they do. Many of us don't realize how they use these white supremacists because uh, they have money. These black women get involved with them, marry them, right? Turn their minds against black men. Because let me tell you something. Ain't no black woman who's with a white man who's racist going to say anything about his racism. Okay? It has been shown that. Now look, no, no regular bus is coming. Only select bus. I gotta take my kids to the dentist. Right? You see that? That's three express, three select buses. No regular bus is coming. Right? Right? No regular bus is coming. Okay? I guess they want me to get in the dollar van, that's what it is. They want me to spend money. Right? That's what it is. They 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 they're watching my they watching my wallet. Oh you can get another one, but that one is good. Okay? They watch they're watching my wallet. You hear the sirens? Yeah, I'm not getting none I'm not getting none of them. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I know your tactics too well. Yeah, you see that? I know the tactics too well. They want, they want me to get on one of these, a dollar van, spend money. Okay? Alright, so anyway. Yeah, so when are we... We are never going to wake up, man, because I'm telling you, they have the developed technologies which black people don't want to believe. You know, I tell my family, oh, don't you know they, they, they have technology that can manipulate your mind? Right? 
that can condition you. You thinking it's your own thoughts, but it's not. Oh, that, that's not true. You know that that is not true. Only only God can control my mind. And I believe in God and, and through God, through Jesus, all things are possible. Yeah, all things are possible. Really, you're busting your ass working two, three jobs sometimes, right? Or you're in a job where ain't paying you enough. This is us as a people, right? This is us as a people. And because some of us, you know, we work two, three jobs to, you know, get a nice apartment, drive a nice car, or even have a nice house, we think we're blessed, right? When white people only got to work nine to five, okay? All they got to do is work nine to five, right? Do you know the average white family in America? How much wealth they have compared to black people? How about $172,000 to their name? How much black people have? Right? How about $6,000? Is, is that a reality check for you? Huh? Is that a reality check for you? Okay? So yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. Look, look at them. Yeah, yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. It's working really well for y'all. Okay? It's working really well for y'all. Now they can get y'all distracted with other nonsense, other bullshit. Talk about national security and 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 uh, uh public safety. Don't give a fuck about your safety. Where was your safety when they infected black men with syphilis? With radiation. With AIDS. Right? Where was it? Where was it? Where was the security then? Right? Where is the security when you're protesting? Right? And cops letting passengers, uh, drivers, white drivers, run your asses over. Where is the security then? Y'all, y'all motherfucker need to hang your head in shame. In shame. That's right. Hang your fucking head in shame. So tell me, where is the security? Where is the security when the white man in Florida? Infected over 500 black women with AIDS or, or potentially infected them with AIDS. Where was the security? So please Spare me that bullshit. I just show you how stupid y'all are But again, you know, I don't fault y'all, but I do fault y'all for not waking the fuck up All right, so uh, I was on the bus and you know, like I said, of course they ought to have the perps come and sit down in front of me and stuff, you know. But um, when I was on the bus, I was thinking about something. And uh, what's astonishing to me, like I said, is how easy it is for people to not even think of themselves as uh, you know as heroes and sheroes you know when we all should aspire to be that to be that person alright so you know understand What's happening? What's going on? And uh, speak up. But they've got people so afraid, uh, literally, so afraid to speak the truth that uh, you know it's uh, it's unbelievable. Hey, and that's you see as I walk by the woman right here. She, um, You know, try to give me the palm fixation drill shit. But like I said, it's okay. Because for a lot of people out there who's doing this type of work, you know, they always say, hey, this is hard work. And you're going to be by yourself because, you know, the people you're trying to wake up and educate, you know, they're going to turn against you. Yeah, this one right here. Yeah, they got, uh, yeah he died? Oh, that's too bad. Oh, am I going to die? Oh, okay. Oh, I guess I'm going to die. She's a live walker, she's a live walker, but oh, he's he gonna die. 
Somebody going to hey, hey. Yeah. Right, what you going to do? What you going to do? A far away assassination? Huh? <laughs> what you going to get one of these little hood dummies? Hey, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. talking. Yeah. Lashy talking. Yeah, Lashy talking. Right? Yeah. <laughs> this is this is what they do. Right? I mean, you guys heard me say this before. This is what they do. Okay, you can threaten me all you want. Like I said, I ain't scared of none of you motherfuckers. So go ahead. The one thing you have to understand is that, uh, you know. Death is just a natural way of life. Sometimes some of us, our lives are cut down short because of the evenness that uh, people have been conditioned to, right? And especially as black people, we don't know how to even protect our own, but we're telling each other to drop of a dime, right? They can send these uh, brainwashed coons, or what I call them, these, these, these Clarence Tom, Thomas type, you know, these uh, Ben Carson type, right? You know, so it ain't nothing that hasn't happened before. And once you understand that, you know, you got to let that fear go. Okay? You got to let that fear go. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's a book called uh, The Secret Teachings for All the Ages by um, Manly P. Hall, I believe. Okay? That book I got off the uh, CIA website, right? In the declassified documents. And I'm saying to myself, why was this book classified? Until I started reading this, so I downloaded it. Uh, you guys can download it. Um, I think you can find it on Amazon now. I'm not sure if you got to pay for it, if it's free or what have you. Right? But it's called The Secret Teachings for all the ages, right? Now, you gotta think about this, right? Why did they, why did the CIA classify this book? They stopped printing this book in the 1920s. I think that was the last edition was printed in 1920 something, okay? But until, when, but when you start reading it, you will see why uh, this book went out of print and it hasn't been printed since. Right, and again, I got this book from the CIA website. Now what? Look, 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 look. She's not touching herself. Look, look, look. Watch the other hand. Okay, look. All right. <laughs> yeah, I see you looking. You ain't win shit. Keep dreaming. <laughs> right? Are you talking through the window there? So as she see me, she starts uh, touching herself. Okay. Yeah. Right. So. You guys can download the book. Um, uh, it's a very telling book. Okay? And uh, you will understand why. Right? Certain information they didn't want people to know. Like I said, uh, they have uh, a lot of rare books that, um, actually, if you go to the Gutenberg uh, Library online, you can find a lot of old books and you can download them for free. On, on many subjects, all right? Yeah. Uh, why is he flashing his yellow lights? All right? It's not an emergency. All right? But again, like I said, I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. So, y'all not gonna project that shit onto me. What y'all feel? Okay? Let's get that straight. Y'all not gonna project that shit onto me. Hey, Willie. Yeah. Look at the two perps they got standing there. Yeah. No one got his arm. He got his arm folded. Hey, why you mad, bro? Why you mad? <laughs> right? Why you mad, bro? Why you mad? Hey, uh, welcome. Hot out there, huh? Yeah. No, you guys have no AC in your trucks, huh? No, no AC. AC. Yeah. You know, we're still in COVID time. That's what they All right, say. if you come back, all right. Come in here with no mask on. 
no man's going to know. So, like I said, uh, The Secret Teachings for All the Ages by Manly P. Hall. You guys can download that book. It has been declassified for whatever reason. But you guys can certainly download it. All of a sudden, eh? <sighs> okay. Yeah, so you see how they were standing outside, right? I, I thought they were like waiting for somebody, you know? They are waiting for me to, to, to come in, and then they followed after. All right, so, you know, just again, showing you how these people target you. And I'm watching another video today on YouTube um, about, uh, it, there was a news uh, interview with these two individuals, they were TIs, and they were talking about this stuff. So like I said, this stuff has been on the news, you know? It, it's, it's nothing new, and this was from years ago, okay? And um, the police are behind it. The police, you know, not to say that they're the only one behind it, but they are the ones that give information to these uh, street level perps, the civilian perpetrator force. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.